The Garmin Vivo Move style. Is it a smart watch or is it just a hybrid watch? And how smart are hybrids? Someone asked me if this shows the notification icon and yes, it does. I'll show you as soon as I can get to the notifications. So here's notifications. See the little envelope? There we go. So it's about and then right here, so this is a text message, the amazing full cheek. So if I click on that, so kind of generic, so email, notification, email. So the hard part is when you click on that, how do I, there we go, clear. You can clear that one, but I mean, how do you, anyway, you can't clear them all. So that's annoying, but that answers your question. So let me send a text message. And if I open it, it just says test but it doesn't really distinguish between the other ones. So if I scroll back, there we go, and view. Yeah, that, that's all it says, and you can't reply or anything. It's just very basic. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, there are different icons, but they can be confusing, and there are no text replies. I do have it connected to an Android phone. Maybe that's why. So right now it's synchronizing with my account. And this is the nice thing about Garmin is if you do have more than one Garmin watch, you can synchronize multiple watches to the same account. So I have the Phoenix 7X, this one, and my Instinct Solar, which I've turned off. So now all my stuff to merge, 7,023. And if I scroll down, this should be 7,023. Yep, it is. And this one should now be 7,023. Oh, 7,017. Close enough. I think it's because I'm actually wearing this one and I believe Garmin knows. Now, if I were to take this one off and just wear this one and go to a workout, everything would be fine. All the data normally syncs, <laughs> should sync from this watch to my account, but this is my preferred tracker. So this is the one I need to wear for bed. And if there's conflict, it takes this one over that one. So the battery life is taking forever to drain. Now I do like this watch face and let me show you all the other watch faces. If you scroll down and go to the Vivo style, you can go to appearance, watch face, and these are your options. So you have just, the, so you really have just six ones. So you can do this one and then you can choose the complications of day, night, calorie, weather. So I could do status on the top, and then on the bottom I could do, yeah, I'll do floor, I'll do steps. And then I click, click back, and force is synchronize at the top. And then if we go back, you can see it synchronizing, and then as soon as it's done, then the new watch face will appear. Still syncing, sync complete. There we go and there's my new watch face. Kind of like the other one because it was color. And then again, you can always swap back and go right back to that watch face. So no matter where you are in the menu, swipe, return. I really like that feature. I didn't even know that was a feature until I had the watch for about two or three days. But I really like the style. Again, if you've skipped ahead, if this shut down and if it tracked rowing workouts. So how fast does it receive tech messages? I'll just do voice. This is a test message. So now it sends. So it's going from this phone to this phone and then to the watch. And then we can hear how loud it buzzes. Oh, it came to this watch. Now this is what's cool. I'll show you how it should reply. So if I go down to notifications, so now I can click here, I can reply, and I can say busy at the moment. So now it's going from the watch to the phone to the other phone. It's really fast. So I do like that part. And then to clear messages on the Phoenix, see how you just swipe, 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 swipe. See how fun that is? That's one thing that's problematic on this one. To clear the notifications, it's a bit wonky. However, one thing you can do is if you just swipe down and do clear all, then it clears all the notifications on the phone. And normally, 
that should clear them on the device. Let's make sure. It does measure stress, that's nice. So, oh, no messages, so that works. Even though you can't clear them on the device, you can clear them on the phone. Now I did test that feature. I don't wanna think I'm doing this first draft. This is actually my third time trying to do this final review for this watch. In summary, if it had a little better battery life, I would think for a hybrid, it should be a full week. But mainly, it doesn't shut off, it doesn't track rowing, it doesn't have a treadmill workout. The workouts are quite limited. I'll show you all of them that it does. And what I mean is, if you can't analyze the workout like Garmin normally does for their workouts, then it's more of categorization and not really workout analyzing. It's just, oh yeah, calories and you worked out for this long and these are your intensity minutes. As far as accuracy for what it does track, I think it's quite good. I do like how the face watch will lock. I don't like how you can't manually lock it. I do wish you could do labels with the alarms. That would be nice. And I really wish that you could have a different charger. I, I, I really don't like this charger anymore, Garmin. I think this should be a Qi wireless charger like the uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch. But I love the design. I think with a metal band, this would be great. I can easily get four to five days. The other thing I don't like, it doesn't have standalone GPS, and that's what I'm used to with a lot of my other watches. So I often, when I want to do a workout, I just want to go work out. I don't want to carry a phone with me. These bounce a lot when you're running. Okay, I only run about seven miles an hour, but still. Having to carry this with a phone and then the whole GPS assist thing is quite antiquated in my opinion. Uh, if you're gonna buy a real smart watch, which this is not, then you're stuck with always having your phone nearby. Now I did discover by accident, a happy accident, when you work out it says, do you wanna use the phone's GPS? You can say no, and that just does a regular workout. I'll show you that now. So just for fun, I'll show you my favorite thing about these true smart watches. That's how fast she can turn airplane mode on or off. And then there's also sleep mode. The other thing that none of these Garmin's do currently, as of today, today's the 11th, they do not track naps. And that is a huge error on Garmin's part. Man, I love this design. I love how light it is. So to view your workouts, you just synchronize the watch. So this is the workout that it tracked this morning. So we have time three hours, 1.7 miles, give or take, based upon my steps. So there's no GPS, there's no steps, estimated sweat loss, <laughs> 1,000 milliliters. So I need to drink some more water. Average heart rate, so just kind of basic stuff. Has the laps, that's nice. Has pace, heart rate, time and zones. And again, this is only $200. Yes, it is a true smarter watch, but it is a hybrid smartwatch, not a true smartwatch like Samsung or Apple or the bigger Garmin's. Mainly it's just, it's really missing the two-way communication. If you're gonna call yourself a smartwatch, you need to have two-way communication. This is more of a read-only device. Now you can input your water, that's nice. You can do the workout, so that's inputting, but when you can't just quickly reply to a text message, even can messages, that's kind of lame. But they do have this one that I'll be reviewing soon, the Venue 2. A lot of you asked me to review this one. It went on sale, so I got it. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really curious about it. So in summary, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Did I show that? Yeah. Battery life, great. It doesn't have airplane mode, but you can disable Bluetooth, similar but different. It doesn't shut off. Oh, and these are the workouts that it tracks. If you open up Garmin and you go to the watches and then you go to Vivo Move Style and then you scroll on down to activity tracking. So it does do Pulse OX, it does Move Alerts, it does Move IQ. I've tested it walking and running, it works. Go to activity options. So it does walking, it does running, cardio, strength training, that worked, yoga worked, other, and then you can change it, but then it's gonna be really basic. And then there's also bike, elliptical, stair trapper, stair trapper, stair stepper, sound it out, stair stepper. And then the toe to toe workout, which I couldn't get to work. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try it with another watch. Uh, this is not the only 
device that does the toe-to-toe. Uh, -to -toe. It's, it's kind of cool. So right there, it does do pool swim, which works. I'll send you a link to that workout. It'll be in the description below. Oh, and if you skipped ahead, it also doesn't have the ability to just disable touch, but it automatically goes into do not disturb mode. So at night, even if you do raise to wake, yeah, I don't think you'd accidentally start a workout because it requires a lot of, uh-oh, I think the battery went dead. Okay, and now it's just a watch. So I wonder if it's tracking steps. We'll test that before we finish the video. See you in an hour. Several hours since the device battery went dead. The time is showing just after 11 and the time is correct. If my calculations are correct, it's been nearly eight hours since the battery died and it's still going strong. We'll just see what tomorrow brings and I'm just gonna put it right there for the night and I'll check it in the morning. So now it is just a gorgeous timepiece. So about that battery life, what happened was after I let it go completely dead, it lasted another 24 hours. I think it would have gone a little bit longer, but yeah, it kind of ruins the whole point of having a hybrid smartwatch. But still, I wanted to see if it did keep the time, and it did. Test passed. And that's the end of my story. That's the Garmin Vivo Move Style. Thank you so much for watching. Part of me does wish I could just keep all the watches, but there are more watches to test. This week I'm testing the Venue 2 versus the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. I'm calling it Galaxy versus Garmin. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out very soon. And thank you for your time. Piffy comments, type those down below. And don't forget to run farther to get further in life. And yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. And we'll just end this. I, I returned the, I already returned that watch, so we'll just end it with this little timepiece right here. See you in eight, eight hours. Goodbye.